What did you order today? Well, I got here a little bit late because, okay. but the um, same things that we always wrestle with the scheduling, this 20 game schedule, the impact, the impact of RPI, and, and as, a, as a conference building our RPI so that uh, we uh, can be, have a stronger profile going into the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, there, there's, a, there's a plan to that, and we got to work at it, but it's really hard to know what a team you schedule two years ahead of time or one year ahead of time, how it's going to finish. And uh, so uh, we've, been, we've been very fortunate in Michigan to hit that number pretty good. But you, you feel, because you also got the dynamic in the, in, within the league that happened with, where Nebraska only played the top four teams once. And that, that's, that you know, can be when they had such a good year, 13 wins. I think we won the conference one year with 13 wins. So uh, it's unfortunate, but it was good. it's good. It's always productive. Do you see any negatives to 20 games? <sighs> no, I don't. Uh, scheduling is so hard, and I, I loved last year Ohio State. At Ohio State in front of a huge crowd. We didn't win, but it was a great. Indiana, huge crowd, and Saturday. It's that perfect place that first weekend in December to play somebody. It's so hard. You know, we were fortunate to play home and homes with Texas and UCLA. And uh, we have, uh, we'll have you at, our hope is that South Carolina will, will be back. We, they owe us a game. So, but it's hard to get that date. And it's a best date to play other than in January and February.